Hi, this is John Feller from the IBM JSTART Emerging Technologies team. Today I'm going to show how IBM Mashup Center can be used to provide a solution to what I like to call spreadsheet overload. First, let's review a business scenario and I'll explain what I mean by the phrase spreadsheet overload. Here we have Jane, a sales manager who needs to consolidate data from her sales team. Currently, Jane asks each of her sales reps to send her a spreadsheet with current sales and forecasted sales for each of their customers. So first her team starts sending her sales data and initially it does not seem too bad of a task for Jane. As more of her sales staff provides her updates, she receives the spreadsheet attachments within her email reader, opens those files and pastes the data into a worksheet within her consolidated sales file, and then she sends the report out to her manager. Unfortunately, several members of her staff have more updates to send her, so she has to first tell her manager to disregard her previous report because there are some last-minute updates. So Jane starts again collecting the data and she continually gets last-minute updates from her team. Unfortunately, Jane is in the midst of spreadsheet overload. She's spending a lot of her time collecting, combining, consolidating and distributing spreadsheet data. One solution is to use IBM Mashup Center. Let me show you a demo which illustrates the key steps of first turning individual sales data into feeds. Then using Mashup Hub to consolidate and filter the information so that unique views of the sales information can be distributed. Finally, I'll show how Jane can create her own personalized dashboard using Lotus Mashups to create unique sales data views. Let's first get started to show how easy it is to take an Excel spreadsheet and turn it into a Atom feed. Here we have a spreadsheet with some customer information and sales forecast. We first look at the InfoSphere Mashup Hub menu and we want to create a new feed from an Excel workbook. And the header row is one and the worksheet number is one and we just want to take the data from sales data Excel spreadsheet, hit next and type in a title and a description. And we're done. So now we have sales data from John, Chris, and Ed. Now let's use another feature of InfoSphere Mashup Hub to combine and filter the data. First we go back to the Mashup Hub homepage and select New Feed Mashup. You will then be presented with a palette with operators to modify the data feed. We want to select source operator and search for the sales feed within the catalog. I select the feed from John and add it into the sales operator. And I'll also go ahead and change the name of this feed. Similarly, I want to put the source operators for the other sales representatives into this palette. So let me jump ahead a little bit. I've now added data sources for Chris and Ed in a similar manner to John's sales feed. I now simply want to combine these feeds into one feed and I do this by taking the combine operator and wiring the source feeds into this combined operator. I simply add a state filter operator and name it state filter.
Now what I want to do is look at the sales data and choose the state information from, for that customer. And I want to have it checked against a variable. Um, so I want to use a variable to return this value. And I enter in a state variable, the default value of asterisk, and I'm done. One other thing I'd like to do is use the asterisk symbol to specify that I don't want to filter based upon the state. I do this by adding another um, check. And I do asterisk and to see if it's equal to the variable. And I check to see if it's either equal to a certain variable such as New York or whether it's equal to the asterisk. And I'm done with that state filter. So let me jump ahead a bit. I've added similar filters for revenue and sales rep. So the last step is simply to publish the feed. I want to make the feed type Adam. I'll put in a title an author and I'm done. So here we have the completed feed page within Mashup Hub and you'll see the resulting URL which provides parameters to filter state, revenue, and sales rep. Here we'll go ahead and copy the link location to be used within Lotus Mashups. So let's go to a Lotus Mashup screen. I have a blank page and I first will take an input box widget and put it onto the page. I will hit edit settings and add the URL of the feed I just created. And you see that it has a state parameter, a sales rep parameter, as well as a, a revenue parameter. This input box widget will provide input fields. Now, all I need to do next is to take a data viewer widget and add it to my screen. Let me go ahead and adjust these a bit. So what I need to do next is wire the um, URL in the feed to the data viewer widget. Okay, I'm done. If I click send, it will display the information for the customers. So if I wanted to see what customers are in the state of New York, it will filter the customers with from New York. If I want to see those customers in New York, that have revenues of at least forty thousand dollars I'll get these. I can add additional widgets to complete my situational application. For instance I'll take a website display and wire the URL for the company into this web website displayer. To do that, I simply send the website of the company to the website displayer and select the display HTML. So now, if I click on DuPont, I'll get the DuP DuPont um, website. If I click on Honeywell, I'll do the same. So now I have a completed application. If you'd like to have more information about this demo, I encourage you to read the Spreadsheet Overload article on the IBM Developer Works website. You can also visit the IBM Mashup Center website for more information about this product. Thank you.